Hello guys, the GB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's Cool Kid Wonder with 736 rating versus Page 1 with 686 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video. Again, it's only high rated because it's the beginning of the format, and let's hop right in. So, Page 1 is going to get to decide who goes first and second. Assuming this format, everyone is choosing to go first. Yep, he chooses to go first. Opening hand is uh, Researcher, Unexpected Die, Gem Knight Fusion, Gem Knight Lazui, and then Signs. His opponent opened up Meltdown, Knowledge, Nib, Terraforming, Alistair. So it's really important that he went first here. Or obviously, like this deck can do a lot when it goes first. Terraforming, add Meltdown, Activate Meltdown. To add Alistair, normal summon Alistair uses the effect, add invocation, N knowledge, get rid of it, draws invocation and Alistair, not what he wanted to see at all, he wanted to see like hand traps, something called by maybe, um, so he's going to banish an Alistair from Grave and discard an Alistair from hand to make Caliga and then Invocation Effect to add back Alistair. So, obviously ending on Caliga is just not what you want. Draws Unexpected Die. Uses one. Drew a dead card essentially there. Brings out Gem Knight Saphir. Gem Knight Fusion. Get rid of Lazui in the normal. To make Zeronica. Uh, Lazui to add the normal back, and then battle phase, attack over. It, he would have had to drop like double Alistair there just to save that. That's crazy. Normal summon, uh, make the Gem Knight Quartz, and he's gonna get Gem Knight Fusion. Is it, yeah, that just adds Gem Knight Fusion on summon. I know that its effects is pretty much Gem Knight Fusion. Uh, Gem Knight Fusion, Banish to add back. Special Researcher. He's going to drop Nib on Summon. Which is fair enough. I mean, he has signs there to just, like, keep going where exactly where he was. Just with no Quartz on board. So he's going to bring out Researcher, but now he gets to stack his deck. For Crystal Rose? Oh, alright. Alright, so... This is going to be cool okay so as you can see here there's definitely some bricks in this deck but oh yeah he he banished six on accident but in reality he's just bringing out crystal rose so you do the little command slash banish five uh, rose is gonna send lazui and then that's going to, again, add back a normal monster. Nothing new. Gets rid of a token for Link Spider. Oh, jeez. Like, the nib even gave him. Okay. You know what? I like this. Researcher Gem Knight makes the Light Sworn. One of the best Links ever printed. Sunblock Dragon. Oh, uh, Mill 3. Yeah, <laughs> He, uh, he gets reminded there. Mills two more Urus. I don't think this hurts the combo. He's already went through Crystal Rose. I know, I think you play two. For, if like, Block Dragon effect. But, he has Researcher in deck, obviously. So, he has other level two rocks. I'm guessing he plays more level two rocks. Uh, Graveyard effect, Banish to Summon. Uh, and then he's going to use its effect to send Lazui. And he's going to add Lapis back. I think this is like the newest normal monster they brought out for the deck. Correct me if I'm wrong though down in the comments. He's going to make Union Carrier. He's going to get Block Dragon effect. Add Gem Knight. Obsidian, which summons from Grave. Another Obsidian, which summons from Grave. And Rose. Oh, so he plays three rows in this build, actually. I mean, obviously, it's been pretty good. It keeps playing normal monsters back to his hand. He's going to get rid of Obsidian and Lapis 
to make Lady Lapis. And then Obsidian's gonna bring back Lapis. <clears throat> and he's he's just gonna get FTK'd here, I think. Or OTK'd, I guess, turn two. It, it, whatever. Bring out Block Dragon, Lady Lapis, burn for... Okay, I was gonna say, I think that's a burn for 35 right there. Uh, his opponent does admit defeat, because right there, he is just gonna get OTK'd. And he's gonna lose right there. Uh, so on to the next game. Game 2, page 1 is going to go first. Opening hand is Ash, called by Signs, Gem Knight Fusion, Lapis. Um, yeah, this doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Opponent's hand is called by Nib, Secrets, There Can Only Be One, and Invocation. So, Secrets, add Blue Boy, Blue Boy get to Knowledge. Uh, knowledge is going to get Ashed. I would Ash Knowledge at least. Because this is just going to turn, like, the blue boy into, like, two hand traps or stuff. I mean, he's going to call by it. Draws D-Barrier and Secrets. So, uh, hopefully he does play more than one Secrets. Uh, when I played the pure build, I played a lot of spell books. Played three Secrets, two Knowledge, and a blue boy. Uh, but the D-Barrier, there can only be one, and Nib will for sure shut down the... Like, no play he has. And if he did it of a play, it would get shut down. Draws Gem Knight Fusion. Terrible draw. Normal Lapis. He just goes for the poke. Oh, he starts getting the damage, and now uh, he's serious about it. Set called by and Gem Knight Fusion. Secrets. Add Knowledge. Yep, so he does play multiple Knowledge, but... Man, uh, the deck turned into like an FTK with Lady Lapis to just beat down with Lapis. I'm, I'm liking the switch up. The deck can do a little bit of both. Uh, normal summon rescue rabbit, affect the tag out. Uh, bringing out two normals from deck. Then he's going to link in the quartz. He's going to use that effect, which adds obsidian. His opponent also... Well, I guess because they were Aqua. And there was Rock. Rock. I was going to say, I feel like a lot of these guys are Rocks. Which is why he's playing like these. He's going to make Aqua Marine. Again, this is like something that, if you know what the Gem Knights are, he would have flipped there. Can only be one. Because this, I don't even know what this card does. I haven't played this card in forever. If this card attacks... Just change the defense at the end of battle phase. If it's sent to graveyard, target one party, target one card your opponent controls, return it to hand. I used to play like Gem Knights before they were in FTK deck. Way long ago for fun. Obsidian is gonna bring back Lapis. He's gonna drop Nib on the summon. He is gonna get the effect though, which is gonna bounce something. Uh, it could either hit there can only be one or D barrier. Hits there can only be one. Two hand. And then he's going to banish that for Gem Knight Fusion. Signs. Bring out Lapis. He can stack the deck here if he wants. Makes Union Carrier effect on itself. Equip Crystal Rose because they're both lights. He's going to set Gem Knight Fusion and pass. Draws Meltdown, which is all he needs to get his invoke combo going. Obviously, he has multiple invocation. So you're going to get to add the third one there. Uh, peer build obviously plays three. Because if this gets stopped, you just want to have an invocation. Um, uses knowledge. Gets rid of that. Draws upstart and there can only be one. So hopefully... Alright, upstart's in the Veiler. Man, like this guy is getting unlucky. With like his draws. Called by... Banishing Alistair, he's going to put back Invocation, they grab that Alistair. Invocation, get rid of Alistair, get rid of Valor. I think possibly using Called By, like right when Alistair hits Grave, is the correct play. Because I, when I played Pure Invoked, when people were doing that play to me, like sometimes it just completely was shutting down my first turn. I was ending on Secure Garden uh, with like two Hand Traps pass. Which isn't enough to live, because you don't have an engine going. Makaba. Makaba's going to attack Union Carrier for 500. And then 3,000. Uh, 
Yeah, the Crystal Rose is going to be able to summon itself next turn. Set there can only be one. He's going up against D Barrier. There can only be one. He's going to lose. He actually just admits defeat. Doesn't even need to see either of them. Uh, his hand was also unfortunate there. He's also playing like 44 card Gem Knight. Rock deck. I don't even know. Opening hand is called by Researcher Lapis. Foolish Unexpected Die. And then Meltdown Crow. Lightning Storm. Invocation Glass Spell. So in 44 he did open up that called by though. So... Crow's going to get hit, and I don't know if this is FTK, but I'm going to have to assume it is. Unexpected die, bringing out Gem Knight. I just feel like this deck always FTKs, like whenever it goes first, I i don't think I've ever seen it not FTK, except like when you hand trap it. Researcher, Mills 5, he's going to get one of those, he's going to get Lapis out. Gets rid of Lapis for Link Spider, and then he's going to make the Light Sworn. And then Light Sworn effects on Block Dragon, and then Mill 3. Wait, I don't think this is FTK. Isn't FTK you need Gem Knight Fusion and Light Sworn effect? Maybe he was hoping to mill Gem Knight Fusion there. Um... I don't know, he's the Gemini player, not me. I'm not gonna argue with his plays. He tries hitting Block Dragon before. Uh, he's gonna call by it though. Yeah, I don't know where he's gonna go. Maybe like Union Carrier. Appalooza, fair enough, fair enough. Block Dragon searches, adds Obsidian. Obsidian and Researcher. He's already went through a Researcher though this turn. Um. Oh. Wow. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awkward. You know. I really wanted this hand to be an FTK, but he ended on two apples in the gates and this goddamn Lapis. Ah. <sighs> Lightning Storm pops these two. Yeah, this Lapis Control deck's actually broken though. Meltdown, grab Alistair. Sadly, this is an Ice Bell, or he would just be able to boom go for game right here. Easy, like over 8,000 damage. Alistair had Invocation. Uh, looked like he wanted to get rid of Alistair, but. And, yep, he does. Gets rid of it for the salad. Invocation, banish Light Sworn, banish Alistair. Uh, he doesn't have to play around like a crow here, which is probably what he was like thinking about, because uh, crow is under called by right now. And then Alistair's going to go back to hand by shuffling back Invocation. He's going to Alistair on Macabre, then activate Invocation, banishing Alistair and Appalooza, going for the Invoke. Raijin, and I think just having like Valor, Raijin, and Makaba, it's obviously going to be, an, be enough to stop your opponent. Especially if the turn before, uh, you didn't have anything to stop them because called by Hit Crow, and their ending board was Appaloosa Lapis. Uh, draws Crystal Rose, banishes three from Grave to summon out the block, special out Researcher. Invoked is going to set that. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's weird. I don't know. Maybe setting Block Dragon is the right play there, right? Because, like, this is going to crash into Makaba and then get three searches. Like, this is going to be huge. I, I don't know. Foolish. To send Lazui. Like, you could Makaba if you wanted to. Negate and banish Researcher. You could invoke, set that. And then you have Valor for, like, the two unknowns. Because you know they have two Obsidian, but. Um, and Lapis. Or Lazui's gonna add the Lapis back. Block Dragon crash into Macabre, like I said. Yup, get his searches. Adds Researcher, Crystal Rose, and Gigantus. 
Alright, so the Gigantus can be summoned. I don't know if anything else does. Oh, I mean, obviously he has a normal summon, so you can just normal summon and use effect. So that makes the invoked on this just so bad. And then not, it doesn't even value this. Like, you know... Ah, uh, maybe. Ah, uh, fair enough. I guess it'd be kind of hard to tell what's in your opponent's, like, extra deck. Like, does he even play the Synchro? It's like the FTK build. I don't know. Does he? Yup. Alright, he does. Goes for Wrap. He's gonna use that effect. He even plays, like, Drag Down to try to get his first turn combo off. Respect. I mean, he's going to get a Lazooey out of that. And then, Link into the Gem Knight. He uses the effect, gets Veilered, which is huge, because that's no Gem Knight fusion. Oh, that would have been... I feel like if this resolved, like, he would have just, like, gamed him. Like, in main phase 2. Like, there wouldn't be a next turn. Gets rid of Block Dragon and the Gem Knight for Unicorn. He's going to get the Unicorn. Getting rid of Crystal Rose. Uh, to shuffle back the invoked. The in yoked. Um, shout out, shout out, Carmino. Uh, Jarl's invocation. Invocation, add back Alistair. Normal summon Alistair effect. Add invocation. I really hated the Wind Witches when I played the deck. That's why I took them out. Like, again, again, right here, like, the two bricks are just bad. Cross Sheep, Invocation, Banishing Alistair. Aw, uh, yeah, he just admits defeat there. Because he's going to be able to make Macabre. He could just Sword. Sword attack over Unicorn. Yeah, so, Cool Kid Wonder admits defeat there. I think he's... Played a pretty cool deck though. Uh, the Admana Scepter Gem Knight. I mean, game one you saw what the deck can do. Uh, FTK'd. Uh, but that's going to be it for the replay. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder signing off.